And we're learning more about the firefighter killed and the family he left behind. Katie Crowther joins us live from Sun Prairie with more. Katie. Carol and Steve, the evacuation order was lifted earlier today, but this entire downtown area is still blocked off. The closer you get to where the explosion happened, the more it looks like a war zone. Volunteer firefighter Corey Barr, who also owns the bar that exploded, was killed while responding to the fire last night. He also worked in real estate. But the job he took most seriously was being a good father to his three-year-old twin daughters and a good husband to his wife, Abby. We will be strong together. We will get Abby and the girls through this difficult time, and we're going to be there for the good times and bad that come. So now it's time for others like myself to uh, step into roles that Corey would have been playing. Thane Westermeyer and other Sun Prairie firefighters were his second family. They are devastated. At least five other firefighters were injured. A police officer and six people in the area were also hurt. We're told all of them will survive. Investigators are doing sweeps of the damage and emergency crews checked on homes all day. Residents who evacuated last night and stayed in a shelter were allowed back in their homes today, but returned to a strong odor of natural gas, which has them terrified of more danger. Open the door and smell like, okay, the kids should not go in because the smell, I can smell it. Now, We Energy says they received a call yesterday that an independent contractor struck a gas main, causing that natural gas leak, which then led to the explosion. They are not yet naming that independent contractor, though. We will stay on this and bring you more at 5 and 6. Reporting live from Sun Prairie, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. All right, Katie, see you at 5. Thank you.